Hey, what's going on guys? It's Walid. How are you? I am going to show you a video right now that I just pulled over on um, someone's steps. It looks like that. And I am going to tell you guys a little story about how my career started. And this is the key ingredient to the success that I've had besides just hard work. And my instincts told me, make this video right now and post it because somebody really needs to hear it. I'm taking a little break from Southern California, but I wanted to talk to you guys about something really important. And I just felt right now, following my instincts, that it's the right time right now to share the story. One of the reasons, one of the main ingredients actually for my entire success is that I understood how to listen to my instincts and my inner voice, my gut feeling. And I find that this is something that a lot of people skip or they push down. They push down because our egos tell us we don't want to be considered crazy. And that's the greatest disservice that you can do for yourself, especially as a creative person, but really anybody, even the left brain people, you have to listen to your instincts. And I think one of the reasons too that a lot of people turn it off is we think that it's religious. When we think that just because you can't see it, it doesn't exist. And I'm telling you, it exists. There's no way I can prove it to you besides the fact that I have nothing to gain from this except I just want to help and I want to tell you one of the secrets to my success has been is that I've listened to my gut feelings, I've listened to my instincts and it was reintroduced in my life by a good friend of mine, Jamie King. Jamie is the creative director for Madonna, for uh, Britney Tours, Celine Dion, Kanye West, uh, Michael Jackson, Cirque, you name it and he has done all that. Jamie pulled me aside one day and we worked together on the Madonna job. He said, I wanted to pull you aside because I've noticed something about you and there's good things and there's bad things and of course at this time I was really in a bad position in my career and my life and I wasn't really happy about the direction. Jamie told me that out of the entire creative team for Madonna and her manager there was only me who paid attention who stayed longer who tried to look at everything and he said a lot of times he would look at me and I was the only assistant where my eyes were like this and I was just trying to learn as much as possible because I recognized where I was. I was basically in Madonna's creative zone and very few people on this earth get that access to, you know, that kind of brilliance. He said that's the good news. The bad news is that more than anybody else, I care what people think about me. Now, of course, I denied this at the time, but it was 100% true. I do care and I did care a lot what people thought about me. And I let that get in the way. So what I did is I started to not listen to my instincts because I didn't want people to think I was crazy. And we try so hard, especially in LA, especially in the entertainment industry, to, to be cool and to, um, to not care. And, and I denied it. And Jamie said, no, I've seen you. I've seen you care and I've seen you not do things because you were looking around to see if anyone thought you were crazy, which was true. He told me something that night that I'll never forget, but, bef but in order for me to get there to, to fully understand it, he had to break me down, and he did. But he also helped rebuild me in the same night, and he gave me back a tool that I was born with, and I'll explain to you what it is. He said, the closest you'll ever be to God, the closest you'll ever be to your instincts, to the universe, to the light, or whatever you believe in, that is a greater power than you is when you listen to your gut feelings. It's when you listen to your instincts. It's when you listen to that sixth sense. And we've been taught as society to discredit that sixth sense, to make fun of anyone that believes in it. But the truth of the matter is that it's a real characteristic that we have. And he also told me that no matter what country you are from, no matter what religion you believe in, no matter what your socioeconomic level is, that one of the first three words any human being ever learns is no. No, we don't cry. No, 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 no. Boys don't cry. Girls, be a good girl and do this or don't cry or say this or act this way. How many of you guys, if you are female, have been told be a good girl and behave a certain way? And how many guys, if you've been listening, have been told at one point in their life, boys don't cry, boys don't show emotions, be tough, suck it up, 
don't cry. I have. And what we probably have in common is that we've been told these things not out of hate and not out of spite. We've been told these things out of love because our families want us to blend in. They don't want us to go against the grain. People in our society that go against the grain are somewhat punished and they're ostracized and cast to the side. But those are the most influential people. Those are the most incredible people that you read about in history. We are taught from birth to take our sixth sense and step on it, push it aside, and act as if we don't have it. But the difference is those that do have it, those that preserve it, those that work on it, have such a greater advantage in succeeding as a human being and a professional in this industry, in this business world, in this personal world. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. Jamie asked me, how many times have I taken a business deal? How many times have I taken a job or gotten into a situation that I regret? And I regret because my feelings told me, don't do this, don't go there, don't say yes to this. But I was too concerned about what people thought about me and it ended up backfiring on me. It ended up blowing up in my face and I was mad at myself. I was mad at myself because I knew better all along. Well, that I knew better is the universe talking to you. That I knew better is your sixth sense telling you this is not the best thing for you. And instead of listening to it, we shove it down so that we are not considered weirdos by society and we go against our instincts. Animals have this. Humans are the only creatures on earth that teach their young to kill their sixth sense. Animals don't. Animals have fight, flight, or freeze. We don't have that. We teach people to kill that for the sake of fitting in. So what I'm telling you is learn to develop your instincts just like you go to the gym to work out and you practice your you know stretches and you do bicep curls to enhance your arms and, and bench press to enhance your chest and all that this is like a muscle practice it practice listening to it practice even if you end up looking like a fool and you are wrong so what you'll be wrong less and less and less and eventually you're going to learn to regain the strengths of this god-given energy given universe given talent which is our sixth sense some of my best business decisions some of my best life decisions is because on a whim I hear something I feel something in my gut and I do a 180 and everyone thinks I'm crazy but I know that it's the right path for me and it ends up proving right I can also tell you that there's many times that I haven't listened to it that I have succumbed to the pressure of society and I have push down my instincts and it's blown up in my face. I can tell you business deals that I've had and this is, this is my fault because I didn't listen to that voice. So I just want to let you know that as much as it sucks that no matter what culture you are from, no matter what socioeconomic level or religion or, or lack of religion you have, that it's taken away from us, you can also reclaim it and you should reclaim it. I just want to let you know that I have nothing to gain from this. I'm not selling you anything. I'm just letting you know there is a skill out there that we were all born with that was taken away from us. And I think that you should work on developing that. And you're going to get better and better at it. And you're going to notice your personal life changing. You're going to notice your professional life changing. This is the greatest gift that we've been given. And unfortunately, it's, it's pushed away from us. Unfortunately, we are taught to ridicule it, to make fun of it, and to make fun of anyone that uses this skill, okay? So for me, I can tell you, I'll, in another video, I'm gonna do the full story of how my career really, really started, and it was listening to my instincts. But for the moment, I felt inspired. My instincts did tell me, make the video, and a lot of times, I will take instincts, not a lot of times, every single time, I will take instincts over pockets full of money, I will take instincts over connections because those things run out. The, the finances run out. The um, contacts that you may have could run out. But your instincts, the more you practice it, the better you get at it, the more you get in tune with it. Your instincts is your make or break, okay? I promise you, develop it. It is a game changer for you. I'm not selling anything. The only thing I am selling is if you did like this, subscribe right down there, please, for the uh, channel. 
or give it a like or send it to somebody that you think it would benefit them. But I can tell you that if I did not have my instincts, I would not be anywhere remotely close to where I am right now. Every job I've had is because I followed my instincts. Trust me, trust it, trust your instincts more than you trust me. This is going to change your life. I promise you on everything. It's real. So what if you cannot duplicate it in a lab? We've all felt it in our lives. If you're a mother and you think about your child and you call your child and you know they've been hurt at school, that's not anyone talking to you but a greater power. That's a greater source. That's your instincts. If you've not gotten in a car because you felt it was dangerous and then you find out later that car uh, got in a wreck or something was up with the driver, that's a greater source telling you it's not your time do not go in this car your instincts work for you for the good they work for you for the bad please trust it again i'm not selling you anything i want you to have a tremendous amount of success and i believe in this i subscribe by this the day i learned to trust my instincts again the day i learned to reintroduce myself back to my instincts is the day my career changed so thank you for listening I am going to continue this walk in Alexandria, Virginia. I just want to take a moment and sit down over here on these steps of someone's house <laughs> and tell you guys about this because I just felt like there are some people out there that needed to hear this and I wanted to listen to the instincts.